Hey everybody, welcome to another Alan's Inventions video. Uh, this video will be kind of a, an addition to one of my other videos, the how to make a solar powered Raspberry Pi pirate box. Um, when I made that video, I didn't really show you guys, or actually tell you guys, what a pirate box really was. So in this video, I will be explaining that and then also showing you what it looks like uh, from the software side of things and how to use it using third-party apps like Intercom for Android for communications in areas where you don't have good cell phone coverage or any other network coverage. So here we go. Alright, so before we get started really quickly here, if you guys could drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button, I uh, would really appreciate it. For this box build, I basically just used a clear case for the Raspberry Pi 3 and a 32 gigabyte USB drive that you can see there. Uh, the power banks are 20,000 milliamp hours each. Uh, I tried figuring out a way to use them together to get 40,000 milliamp hours of battery life but was unsuccessful. Um, then for the memory card I just used a 128 gig um, SD card. I think it was like a SanDisk um, it's really not required. All the files are going to be stored on the USB drive. That kind of looks like a key there. And then just a little micro USB cable from the battery bank to the Raspberry Pi. Um, there's no on and off button. Uh, there's mods out there that you can add to the software to hardwire a switch. Uh, but again, for this one, I just wanted it to be as least complicated as possible for the build um, trying to emphasize more the software side of things that way you guys are able to make one at home and use it in areas or scenarios where you don't have good cell phone reception and you need to communicate with other people near you um, with relative ease so anyways here let me show you guys what it looks like on the software just a quick note I won't be going into detail on how to make your own pirate box. Uh, the instructions are pretty clear on the website, piratebox.cc. All links are down below, and you can read about why they are terminating the project, um, the official pirate box website. It just has to do a lot with HTTPS security protocols and SSL encryption. So if you're interested, you can go to the webpage and read more about that um, and see what other devices are compatible. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you guys my finished pirate box um, and show you how it works using a couple of other apps. In case you're not redirected automatically after you connect to the hotspot, this is the URL you want to use. Also, please note that whenever you are connected to the pirate box, you will not have internet access. And here you can see the main screen. Uh, this basically gives you the file upload. Uh, option as well as disk usage. For some reason though I've never gotten that to work properly um, so it's something wrong with the software and then down below you can see the chat where you can communicate with other people uh, connected to the same uh, pirate box. Alright so I finally got both devices connected and you can see I've already been exchanging some text communications just using the online uh, or the offline online chat box uh, that's included with this. Uh, once you do load it up for the first time, it will give you kind of a welcome notice, just explaining to you what it is, um, just you know, not to scare off people right away. And it's a pretty interesting uh, little paragraph there. But anyways, here you can see I'm going to upload a file from one device to the other. As you can see here, you can both upload and download files that are stored on the Pirate Box itself. There is also a forum page that does keep messages permanently, so if you want to share text information, you can save it there. Something else I did notice is that whenever you want to send a message via the chat carrier or the chat service that's installed on this, uh, you do have to refresh your browser every time to see if there's any new messages and the pirate box does not store it 
um, once you power it off, unless you want it to. And you have to go into the settings and modify that yourself. But here you can see uh, <laughs> I've been sharing messages back and forth again uh, with myself. Okay, and then finally I want to show you guys how I you just download this app using your cell phone network or a good Wi-Fi network. Uh, the app is called Intercom for Android and it basically just connects to your Wi-Fi. It works off your regular home Wi-Fi as well. It doesn't require a pirate box, but it's like a walkie-talkie, so it allows you to communicate um, without cell phone uh, reception or... <laughs> I keep saying that, but yeah. It works with a pirate box. It works like a walkie-talkie. So again, if you're in an area that you require communications and don't have access to a carrier network, then this is great using your pirate box. And it probably works with any other hotspot. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool tool, uh, cool tool that I think you should always have on your phone regardless. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did not show the sound working on this uh, because it was really staticky and I didn't want to ruin your guys' ears. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it. I've never really done a video like this showing a lot of screens back and forth, so hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Uh, I'll be more than glad to post any clarifications or any questions, answer any questions down below. Uh, just leave a comment and a like and I will um, respond to you guys as soon as I can. Alright, thanks for watching.